Good morning, everyone. I am Dr. Sopakit Komirai from Bangkok, Thailand. First, I would like to thank you, Professor Chirawat Patana Arun, and organizing committee for inviting me to share my experience today. And also my boss, Professor Arun Rojanaskun, and also my team at Surgical Endoscopy, Chulalongkorn Hospital. My topic today is about the endoscopic treatment for solitary rectal ulcer syndrome. As you know that the solitary rectal ulcer syndrome is not the common anorectal lesion that we found, but it's what was well defined no, with no specific entity and with the value of the presentation, sometimes there are no ulcer at all as its name. The diagnosis is based on the colonoscopic finding and fibrovascular obliteration in the lamina propria from the pathologic study is the cornerstone for the diagnosis. Sometimes we found the colitis cystic for funda, which have the mucus leg or mucus cyst within the submucosal layer, was also found in the patient with the solitary rectal ulcer syndrome. The treatment was not the consensus. So we can use the conservative treatment or the surgical approach. It depends on the expertise of the surgeon or the GI endoscopy was, that was found the patient. We have the success of the treatment by using the conservative treatment. We also have the e-poster presentation in this meeting. You can scan the QR code to access to our e-poster presentation about the success of the conservative treatment of solitary rectal ulcer in our hospital. Endoscopic finding. We have four types of the endoscopic finding for the surgical, sorry, for the solitary rectal ulcer syndrome from the mucosal hyperemia, the ulceration, polypoid, and also the mix of the ulcer and the polypoid type. Our approach was different depending on the finding that we found. For the two lesions that we found, the hyperemia and the ulceration, first of all, we have to differentiate it from the colorectal cancer by the endoscopic. We, used, we usually use the narrowband imaging to diagnosis our lesion by the colonoscopy. From this lesion, as you seen in the picture, after the applying the NBI, the mucosal surface was different from the colorectal cancer. If you look at the detail, it's different. It's the, the pattern of the vascular and the pattern of the surface was different from the colorectal cancer. It looked like the inflammation Sometimes it's look like the surrounding mucosa, but it's different from the colorectal cancer. After the endoscopic diagnosis of the solitary rectal ulcer syndrome, we also took the biopsy to confirm our diagnosis and also asked the patient more history about, especially about the digital evacuation and also get the functional study by the MR depicography. After the diagnosis was confirmed, the treatment, conservative treatment, is the mainstay for our patient. Starting with the recommended high fiber diet and also the, about the laxative for the patient and the main treatment to ask the patient stop the trauma to the mucosa, no digital evacuation. We have to ask the patient to stop doing that. In, together with this one, most of the patient was success. Like I show you in this picture, after the conservative treatment in both patients, see that you, you can see from the colonoscopic finding, the lesion was gone and the mucosa was healed on the right side, as you see. And the NBI, NBI diagnosis was confirmed that everything was gone and the mucosa was healing. And the other two of the finding that we found, the polypoid and ulcer, with the, the mixed type of the ulcer and polypoid lesion. These two type of the solitary rectal ulcer syndrome. First, we're doing the same. We need to confirm our diagnosis first by the endoscopic diagnosis using the NBI. And we have to confirm it by the pathologic study. And also ask the patient about the history, especially for the digital evacuation and also functional study by the MR difficult cafe. After the confirm of the diagnosis, the treatment, the conservative treatment is the mainstay that we need to, to ask the patient to follow. But for the lesion that we found like this, 
we have more treatment for this kind of the lesion as I show you in this video this lesion we found in the lower rectum the polypoid lesion at the lower rectum we usually use the NBI as I told you from the NBI picture in this lesion you see in the few seconds when we apply the NBI the lesion will look different from the colorectal cancer it's the vessel is different. This is the information. So we confirm that our dance is what the solitary rectal ulcer. So we use the polypectomy technique to cut off the lesion like this, as I show you. This is after the polypectomy. And this is showing after the polypectomy. And also when we send the pathology the send the specimen for the pathologic study and the result come back and we ask the patient to to treat to get the conservative treatment like the the laxative the high fiber diet and also stop the digital evacuation this is two year follow up for the patient the symptom was improving and then the mucosa is showing the um, almost heal and this is the five year follow up. Everything is almost healed. Confirming by the NBI, like this. So, this is another case. From the white light, as you seen, you may thought that uh, this lesion is the colorectal cancer, but uh, something is different when you apply the NBI. From the NBI diagnosis, this is the information is different from the colorectal cancer the pattern was different so after the after we perform the lot of the endoscopic procedure and we familiar with the mbi and we can say that uh, the lesion is look different by the nbi diagnosis so from this lesion and the nbi diagnosis uh, was the solitary rectal ulcer so we do the pathologic study to confirm our diagnosis first and then the, after the confirm so we do the endoscopic treatment for this kind of the polypoid lesion we do the polypectomy as i show you like this and in this picture after the polypectomy and the patient was asked to stop the digital evacuation also the high fiber diet and on some laxative to help the defecation this is the egg month of the follow-up. The symptom was the patient is uh, improving and some of the lesion was also steering foul. So we do more polypectomy like this at the remnant of the polypoid lesion. And this is the follow-up, two years. Everything was healed and the symptom was gone. The patient also we found the no symptom at all. Everything is fine. And this is the picture showing. This is another case. So from the, this is the polypoid lesion at the lower rectum. And NBI diagnosis, if you look at the detail, is the vessel is different. The pattern of the vessel is different. It look like the inflammation, look like the inflammatory polyps. And when we confirm the diagnosis of the solitary rectal ulcer, the polypoid -like lesion like this, we do the polypectomy for this kind of the lesion. But uh, we ask the patient to follow the, the, the protocol to stop digital evacuation, take more fiber diet, and also some of the laxative to help the defecation. This is the follow-up, six months and two years. So everything was gone and almost every lesion was gone and then the mucosa was healed like this. So for the two types of the lesion of the solitary rectal ulcer, polypoid and then the mixed type, we confirm the diagnosis what with the NBI, the narrow band imaging, and we do the endoscopic resection for this kind of the polypoid lesion, the polypectomy, and this is the follow-up.
all of the patient was got the good result. Sorry. From our experience from 2011, 26 of the polypoid or mixed type was treated by polypectomy or the ESD, 25 polypectomy, one ESD procedure, 11 was completely healed, and six need additional polypectomy as I shown you before. All of the patient symptoms are improved. One of the interesting thing is the, the age of the patient, the polypoid or the mixed type, the median age was the 20 years old and the mean age was uh, 24 years old this is what this is interesting that the polypoid or mixed type the patient is uh, younger than the the ulcerative type uh, we need to look at more detail and we analyze this again and from our conclusion solitary lectal ulcer syndrome is the uncommon endoscopic finding Accurate diagnosis are the crucial to avoid unnecessary treatment and the proper treatment. Conservative treatment, which including the modified lifestyle diet, bowel laxative, and then avoid digital evacuation are the effective. Endoscopic resection of the polypoid lesion is safe and recommend for the lesion like this. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>